Now there's another paper disproving the Big Bang using JWST data and the Tolman test. It's called Cosmological Model Tests with JWST and it can be found on Archive, which I'm linking below. And this paper runs through some key points in just the introduction. There are an excessive number of large galaxies with high redshift. There are high redshift galaxies that have disks and bulges indicating that there are old galaxies. There are high redshift galaxies that have similar spectra to our local galaxies. And once again, indicating that there are old mature galaxies. And then in the Lambda CDM model, the Big Bang model, this, these galaxies must be small, distant, but still massive, which is not consistent with our models of galaxy formation. So these high redshift galaxies make it impossible for them to form during the timeline of the Big Bang model. So that's how the paper starts. And then in addition, it points out that these galaxies are not blue enough to be early galaxies that have blue, short-lived, massive stars in them. And this is a key point I want to bring up in relation to a recent Dr. Becky video. She said there's no problem with these early massive galaxies because they're blue galaxies without a lot of small stars like our sun. Except they're not blue galaxies. They're normal galaxies, reddish galaxies even. They're, they have large populations of small stars in them based on the light. So the whole idea that the, all these early galaxies were blue galaxies is one of the Big Bang myths that's being overturned by JWST and even some of the Hubble data before. Now the really important part of the paper from my standpoint is they went through the data in relation to the Hubble test. They looked at how big are the stars or galaxies versus how big they should be depending on the model. And I went through this before in another video, but basically if you look at the Big Bang model, you have three curves of distance. One is the curve that goes up and down, and that is basically saying that galaxies were much closer in the far distant past and the high redshift galaxies should be closer to us and thus they should look larger to us. And then we have the co-moving frame distance, which is where the galaxies are now, which we can't actually observe because we're seeing them much earlier in time. And then the linear distance. And the tire light models fall between this co-moving frame distance and the linear distance. So it makes the galaxies look much smaller than they would be if the Big Bang model were correct. So this is the test that the paper discusses. And they looked at data in the black dots, which were pre-JWST, and the red dots are from JWST. And you can see that while there's a wide range of distribution of angular size to these galaxies, they follow the tire light model line, the one in the middle, which tells us that the tired light model of the universe must be correct, that there must be a static tired light model that is the correct one. It doesn't follow the Lambda CDM model where these galaxies have to get bigger. And also based on their data, it doesn't follow the strictly linear model, that there, there is some, of some curvature to it due to some compounding effect that causes an exponential curve, although a fairly slow exponential curve. So that's where we are. This is what the data shows. And obviously as JWST continues to collect data and more data on high redshift galaxies, we'll probably see even more data that is convincingly along the tired light line as shown in this paper. 
and it'll be become even more difficult for the big bangers to keep denying this. And it's great that we have someone other than Eric Lerner to do the same type of analysis that he's done because it shows us that other scientists are starting to really take note that the Tolman test is a real thing. And I would also like to point out that Eric Lerner mentioned this paper in his last video, which I'll link below. And he also talks about the problem that Dr. Becky was making without calling her out directly. So I recommend giving his video a watch. And I definitely recommend reading the paper if you're interested in getting into the details. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please like, share it, and subscribe. And I do have books for sale. And thanks to my Patreon, PayPal, and Super Thanks supporters. I really appreciate you. And thanks to everyone for watching.